Welcome to HP ALM Sprinter. This demonstration presents the HP Sprinter Scanners feature. Sprinter Scanners feature enables you to automatically verify different aspects of your application's behavior and find potential defects. Using scanners, you can check whether textual strings in your application are spelled correctly, whether the application complies with web standards for web applications, if there are broken links, or whether the user interface of your application is translated correctly. You can select which scanners to use either before or during the run session. After each scan is completed, you can perform several actions on its results, such as creating defects and defect reminders. You can also extend the scanner's capabilities by defining custom scanners. This allows you to design a scanner that will detect defects that are specific to your application. Let's review our scanner's configuration in the Power Mode group. We click the Scanners link, and the Scanners pane opens, which allows us to review the list of scanners that are available during the run session. Sprinter has four scanners, Spell Check Scanner to find spelling mistakes, Localization Scanner to verify the application is displayed and translated correctly, Web Standards Scanner to validate that the application conforms to web standards, and Broken Link Scanner to find if there are broken links in a web page. We configure which scanners will be used in the run by enabling or disabling them. Each scanner has its own specific settings. Let's start the run. As we follow the test steps, we navigate to the Book of Light page. When we reach the page we want to scan, we click the Start Scan button in the scanner sidebar. The progress window opens, displaying the status of each scanner. It also shows the number of potential defects found by each scanner. After the scan ends, the Scan Results viewer opens. You can handle the results for each scanner by creating a defect or a defect reminder, or by performing an action specific to the scanner. We see in the Scan Results viewer that the Spell Check Scanner found two spelling errors, the Broken Link Scanner found one broken link, and the Web Standard Scanner found some errors when validating the page. When selecting the Broken Link result, we can see a detailed description of the error, and when selecting one of the Spell Check errors, you can see an image with a red frame marking the error on the page. Let's submit a defect for all Spell Check errors. To submit this defect to HPALM, we will first select the spell check node in the results tree and then select the Submit Defect option from the toolbar. In the Defect Details dialog box, we can see that the results description will be part of the information that will be included in the defect description. In the attachments of the defect, we can see a screen capture of the page containing the marked errors. We click Submit. We can see that all the spell check results were marked as Submit Defect. We can also perform some custom actions that are relevant for the scanner. For example, let's ignore one of the result categories that the Web Standards Scanner found so it will not appear in future scans. For that, we select the relevant category under the Web Standards Scanner. A button Exclude Category appears in the toolbar. Click on it and all results under this category will be marked as Exclude Category and will not appear in the next scan we perform on this page. Let's close the Scan Results viewer. You can enable or disable scanners during the run session. Let's assume for the next page we want to enable only the Localization Scanner. This scanner checks your application for errors resulting from translating the application's user interface into a different language. Let's say we've translated our application to Spanish, and we want to verify that all strings were translated from English to Spanish, and that these strings are displayed correctly, and not cut off in the page. We click on the Scanner Settings button in the Scanner sidebar. The Scanner Setting page opens. We disable the Web Standards, Broken Links, and Spell Check scanners, and enable the Localization Scanner. We click on Start Scan in the Scanner's sidebar and check the progress window for the status of the localization scanner and how many potential defects were found. 
In the scan results view, we can see that the localization scanner found one non-translated word and one string that is cut off in the display. When selecting the result, we see in the description area the string that is displayed versus the string that should appear. We close the scan results view and end the run by clicking the stop button in the run control sidebar. In this demonstration, we presented how Sprinter accelerates your manual testing by automatically identifying errors, like misspelled words and localization issues. This frees up your testers to focus on more complex faults with the application. Detail about features mentioned here and a whole lot more is available in HP Sprinter User Guide.